Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. In this video, guys, I'm going to talk about um, lower level consciousness because this is exactly where the narcissist is operating out of. You know, they are stuck basically in a lower level consciousness. And, you know, it's quite possible if we keep it real with ourselves that you may have been operating from a lower level of consciousness as well. Um, and this enabled you to not only attract the narcissist, into your life but you know for them to be able to penetrate your life now there is a um, term that I throw around quite often on this channel emotional maturity emotional intelligence emotional maturity you hear me say this all the time and you know this is very true you know um, because our naivety you know and our ignorance, you know, it will keep us stuck in a perpetual state of repeating cycles, you know, because you can get rid of that one narcissist and end up with another one, just with a different name and a different face, guys. So this is the type of stuff that we need to prevent. So let's consider this video more of a preventive measure. And this is by increasing your emotional maturity. So there's four things that the narcissist is constantly doing that I want you to be aware of in your emotional intelligence in life. And you can take this outside of narcissistic abuse because other human beings, whether they're narcissists or not, they could be operating from this kind of lower level consciousness, okay? And they don't have to be a narcissist to be doing this, all right? So the four things that the narcissist is doing continuously is, you know, they have jealousy, they have rivalry, they have envy, and they have malice, okay? They are, you know, operating out of these four things constantly. So let's just briefly talk about what each one is. So jealousy just is basically saying that I want what you have. A jealous person, they want what you have. Okay? Rivalry means I'm competing against you. You know, your rival is someone that is competing against you. All right? Envy says, I don't want you to have that. Envy is basically, yeah, I don't want you to have that, okay? And then malice means I'm working against you, all right? Malice is a person that is working against you. So, you know, when we make the def um, definitions plain and clear, we can see how the narcissist didn't want you to have, ultimately. They may have with the mask on, presented that they did. They didn't want you to have, they envied it because they, they envied it. They didn't want you to have, they were jealous because they wanted to have, right? Your supply. Um, and they were maliciously working against you to, to for your demise, for your fall down, you know, to bring you down in life. So therefore they were your rivalry as well. All right. Um, narcissists, you know, they are of that lower level consciousness. The only thing with them is chances are they're going to stay there and just go lower and lower throughout their life, unfortunately, you know, because they're operating out of, um, scarcity and, um, a lack of limitations, uh, um, honestly, and not enoughness, you know, because they have low self-esteem. You know, and they don't mind lying, stealing, and cheating, you know, to get, you know, what, get their needs, what they feel like their needs are, their shallow needs for the most part, to try to get them provided for and fulfilled, okay? So, survivors, we have to become better at utilizing our discernment when we're meeting people to realize, you know, if they're operating out of one of these four levels of lower level consciousness consciousness are they jealous of you are they envious of you are they your rivalry are you know do they have malice towards you and the thing about it is a person can be smiling in your face and be stone, uh, stone cold jealous of you okay envious of you and have a knife right behind their back just waiting for the opportunity to strike 
And then you'll be like, I thought this person was my friend. You know, people throw that word around a lot. And your emotional maturity, I would hope, would teach you that you shouldn't do that. Hold on a second. All right, guys. So this isn't going to be a long video. I just want you to be aware of these four aspects of the narcissist and to also just take that along with you as you observe other people in your life. Okay. Um, I'm going to make a video about my law of detachment, which will help you in being able to observe people a whole lot easier than if you are attached. Okay. All right. <laughs> Because you need a clear perception of reality to be able to see the reality, all right? Can't have on those rosy colored glasses, all right? So please, please, please be mindful of the jealousy. Be mindful of the envy. Be mindful of the ri of rivalry. And be mindful of the malice, okay? All right, guys, let's increase our emotional maturity. Let's get stronger and do better, okay? So that we can really end this cycle of abuse in our lives and really be done with being taken advantage of. All right, guys. So if this video resonates with you, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Almost 500 videos, certainly well over 450 videos here to help you um, with your healing from any type of emotional, physical, psychological abuse, um, narcissistic abuse, help you understand psychology better, increase your emotional maturity, um, et cetera, et cetera, really. Just take what you can and to help you on your journey. I do offer coaching, guys. I do voice calls. I do FaceTime. I do Skype. Go to LakiaCrawford.com. That link is below the video, and it's also on the About page. I help people with all types of things, um, not just healing from narcissistic abuse, the shadow work that they have with themselves, goal setting, and just all types of things, all right? It's, it's life coaching. Um, I have all types of deals on my website where you can save money. Look into that. Um, I'm also on Patreon, another way to get similar coaching um, services and save money. Look into that. Um, I have the Facebook support group where you can connect with other survivors of narcissistic abuse. If you're interested, that link is below all the videos as well. Just inbox me and let me know that you're a survivor because I get a lot of requests for that. And, you know, I'm trying to keep that as tight knit as possible and only to survivor uh, survivors. All right. With that being said, guys, continue to do the work, you know, keep your eyes clear and keep yourself detached from other people's um, actions, other people's thoughts, good and bad, you know, this way, you know, you're not taking on things in this way, you're not heavily influenced one way or another, and you can keep your own mind and your own clear sight in situations, all right? So let's continue to increase that emotional maturity, guys, and until next time, please take care.